Hi all, um, today we're looking at how to slip a, a, a Yale lock. Um, think of it like the credit card trick um, that you see on films that doesn't actually work. Um, now, we're talking about Yale locks, your standard slam lock like that. Uh, on the back often looks like that. The whole principle is, is as you slam the door, the little bit drops in and uh, it locks behind you. So you can get locked out like that one as well. Now, um, the way it's normally done is it's done with what's called slipping mica, which is a nice little piece of, of flat, uh, very stiff plastic that's slipped. It's like a big credit card, um, and it's slipped between the door, and it, it just basically pushes this back. Now, the problem is, if you just locked yourself out of your house, <clears throat> you're not going to have that with you. However, you can do it with a pop bottle. Um, what I've got here is I've chopped the top and the bottom of the lemonade bottle. Um, just for information, uh, the more expensive the Coke bottle, so if it's actually Coca-Cola, um, it's better because you end up with a better bottle because um, this is rather a bit sort of thin, woolly and not very good. So all I've done is I've cut the top and the bottom off and then I've cut it to give me a nice flat sheet of plastic and I've cut it at a bit of an angle to give me a little bit of a point on the end. And all we're going to do is we're going to slide that in between the door jam and we're just going to use it to push this back. Now. Um, I've mocked something up for you, I'll show you in a minute, but if you see here, this is actually quite a, quite a stiff thing to push back, and this is a bit of a, bit of a sort of tacky bit of plastic. So you've got to be a little bit um, inventive um, to make this work. It does work, we used to do it a lot um, when we needed to and we'd run out of, of, of um, mica, because it does get damaged. Um, but this works, not ideal, but it does work. Okay. So, <clears throat> I've mopped up a little thing for you here. Now, anyone who's paying attention will notice that that lock is actually opening the door the wrong way, but it doesn't matter, I'm showing you the principles. Okay, so you need to get your piece of plastic in. Now, what you do is you always go to the highest point, because there's more flexibility to get it in there. Now, usually what you want to do is you want to, now imagine this, you wouldn't see the lock, would you? You'd be on the outside, but this will show you, and I'm just going to do it in reverse so you can see. So, and I'll also bear in mind, I've only got one hand, so it's not that easy. Right, so, oh, fingers in there. Right, so what you're looking at doing is you're looking at pushing the top of the door away and just getting the edge of that plastic in and through and out the other side. So there we go, I just push it away and put it in. And then you're looking at, so if you imagine, I am doing this in reverse obviously, but what you do is you push it through so you've got quite a lot coming through the door to the other side. You then slide it down and as you come down, you'll feel it gets tighter and tighter as you get down towards the lock. Now, imagine really ideally, ideally now, this would what you'd be getting like that coming through so you can see how it's come down and it's touching the jam there so what you'd want to be doing then i mean if it was slipping mike you just pull and it would it would pull the bolt it would pull the spigot away but unfortunately we can't do that and we'll just go back to our standard item here now look if you're going to try and come down with a piece of plastic and just push on the top there it's not going to work. You're going to push down there, you're pushing on a square face. What you've got to do is you've got to make sure you're hitting it at that kind of angle so that what you're doing is you've got something, so you've got something to push so you can bear in on it. If you're coming down dead on that way, there's nothing it's going to do. So you've got to make sure you're angled like that. So back to the door. What you do is you want to make sure that your plastic, see mine's actually at the wrong angle, look, it's angled down from here. So from outside, you want to make sure the bottom is higher than the top, so that you've got it like that, or a bit more, like that. Sorry, it's just bad camera work. Um, and then you bring it right down, obviously from outside, you bring it right down to there. Now, you think, ah, oh, how do I, how do I now slip that? Because the problem you've got is that that isn't going to push that bolt back. So what you do, if you've got a letterbox in your house or, or, or a letterbox in the door, put your hand in the letterbox and shake the door like that. Or in this instance, I've got a door handle because this is just a mock-up for you. Get your hand in the door handle like that. Sorry, in the, in the letterbox like that. Get hold of the door and shake it. Shake it forwards and backwards as you're pulling down on this. Try 
rocking it side to side like that and also <clears throat> as you're doing this if you've done it for if you if you've been rocking the door for a little while and you've been you've been pulling down and, and sort of trying to pull down on this and it hasn't worked just pull a bit more out while you shake so actually draw the plastic away down like that so sort of saw it out and away that sometimes helps too i mean in this instance it's nice and weak and i can actually because i'm on this side of the door it's very easy just like that and i'm through um but you know it's that's that's obviously i'm on the wrong side of the door but there we are you see the principle but remember Get that door and get it shaking. The reason for that as well is it stops the bolt from being caught up against the back here. So it lets everything sort of wiggle and go free. Um, only other tips, you can try from the bottom. If you can't get the plastic into the top, you can try from the bottom. Um, ideally, if you can, that it should cur the, the, the plastic should curl um, towards the, not towards the wall, but towards the door um, as you slide it through. So you should slide it through so it will curl around and into the door. That seems to work the best. Um, the best Coke bottle you can get, the most expensive Coke bottle, ideally like, you know, Coke Genuine, um, has to be smooth and flat. It can't be, um, can't be that crinkled stuff. Um, <clears throat> if it's really tight, you can try slimming it up so you can try actually cutting the plastic. Um, here to give you a, a slimmer piece of plastic. Um, my view is is that doesn't work. But what you really want to be doing is you need you need to have the flexibility. You need somehow to be able to get some wiggle on that door, whether it be from a door handle, whether it be from um, uh, you know a, 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 a post box. Be it from I mean even if you put a, a screw in the door and, and pull and push on that, or if there's a you know, if it's a door knocker, you can pull on the door knocker. Anything to get that, take that thing out of the way. Anything to get that snib there to rock in and out, if you see what I mean. And while you're doing that, you're then making sure that you're putting pressure down on it. So let's have a little look again back on the bench. Um, so you can see here, what I'm looking at doing is coming down and hitting it as much of an angle as I can because it's much because once you're there once you square onto it you've got no chance so you want to get as much of an angle as you can and what tends to happen is the edge of the plastic gets mashed up um, so that sawing action so if you once you've tried for sort of um, you know a couple of minutes just pull the plastic back a bit so you've got a fresh edge that's coming down and touching that I've used this quite a few times don't get me wrong, quite often you take that out, turn it over and use the other edge because you've, you've meowed that edge. Um, you know, you would be surprised, it's quite a few shakes you need because what you tend to be doing is just edging the plastic in bit by bit by bit by bit and then it just pulls it down because bear in mind, there is quite a lot of push on these. They are usually in the, in the latch quite deep. Um, the reason, by the way, you can't use a credit card is usually because the doors have actually got um, like a, 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 an edge on them. So um, I'll show you on this one here. Um, the doors have got an edge on them like that so that your credit card won't come in and through, if you see what I mean. So um, what you've got to do is you've got to make sure, and yes, for anyone who's observing, you'll see that that is just a test rig. So. Um, that isn't a real lock, that's just so as you can see. There we are guys, I hope that helps. It's been very useful for me in the past, um, especially when you've lost your keys. There we are.